So not everybody gets to come up here. Welcome to our prop shop. Hi, my name is Lori. I run the prop department at the San Francisco Opera and welcome to our prop shop. One of the things that we really have to build in the metal shop is when we build things like swords and knives. We have to make them safe and so we'll use thicker metal than ordinary. We don't want anything with really sharp blades because our singers and our actors have to be safe. Sometimes we have things that are just so big and so fantastical that the real ones are all in museums. And we can't, we have absolutely no access to them because they're often museums and we have to build a replica ourselves. So that's true of some of our swords that are covered with jewels. They may be used by kings, but we have to make a phony one that looks like the real one, and that's the one that we'll use in our show. So here is one of our more imaginative swords. This is something that we'd have a lot of trouble finding if we needed to look for it. It's real aluminum, so there's no danger of it breaking. Um, he cut out the shape and he hollowed out the blade just like a real one would be, but you can see that it's completely safe because it's nice and thick on the edge. Long time ago, I actually did the ornamentation on the handle and we've actually made it so that the sword goes all the way through, the blade goes all the way through the way that real knives and swords do. It could take a while to build something like this, um, but we'd probably try to cut it out in just a day and let people use it in rehearsal and make sure that it really is the size that they want and it really is the shape and they can handle it. And then it'll take some time to do the hollow grinding and the polishing. And then somebody's gonna take some time to actually bejewel it. And that can take a little while because we need to use epoxies that take some time to dry. That way when somebody's holding it, the jewels aren't going to fall off. We certainly don't want that happening. So I'd say two, three days. Prop building is not all about big, noisy, heavy, dirty tools that make sawdust and uh, metal shavings. So we have our clean shop up here, and these, this is where we make the things that we need to keep clean uh, without sawdust and without all the grinding and paint and things that we have down in the other shop. So this is where we do upholstery, and this is where we do um, jeweling and crafts. That's where we do some of the jeweling on our weaponry. This is a complete fake sword. You can't even draw it. It's just the handle and the sheath, but we very carefully jeweled this using probably the same things that you use in your arts and crafts classes. This is just an ordinary gold net and this is glitter glue and everybody's gotten to use glitter glue at some time or another but we sure made it look fancy and anything that we found like this would be in a museum and there's no way we could use it so we had to make our own these were the designs that we got for the finale props that's for the wedding in barbara of seville and so part of those were six cotton candies so these are the cotton candies that we made up here in the clean shop. Um, we used batting for this, which is just what we use to stuff pillows with. Um, it's a perfectly ordinary material and it's nice and lightweight. But then we took the same thing that you use to decorate your house on Halloween, you know, those funny cotton spider webs that you can stretch out. And we thought that would have that look of spun sugar. So we stretched those spider webs around it and spray painted it pink, and we have instant cotton candy. 